Chabata Basa Tabu, Castle Run Review. Customs from the resin casting master Clonehead and the father son team Darth Daddy and Elias. But first, check out our latest bounty in this week's installment of Hot Off the Millennium Falcon. And the latest additions to my collection are Target exclusives the Special Ops Clone Trooper with Geonosin Drone and Waxer with Battle Droid 2 Packs. Waxer and the Battle Droid are repaints of previous ARP Trooper and Battle Droid figures, but this variation of the droid looks cool and the paintwork on Waxer is great. The paint detail on the clones just seems to be getting better and better. They come with the standard Weapons Droid Blaster, DC-15, and Chain Gun. The Special Ops Clone Trooper and Geonosin Drone 2-Pack gives us two totally new head sculpts and a new tripod mount of blaster. Although they're not as eye-catching as the Waxer and Droid paint jobs, both of these figures have top-notch paint jobs with clean, well-executed details. Even the Geonosin weapon was repainted with a higher level of detail, plus with the new bucket and paint job, the Special Ops Clone Trooper is one of the most interesting clones we have seen yet. Senator Amidala says she wants to protect the children of the Republic. But does she really? Senator Amidala has repeatedly fought in the Senate to stop the Republic from defending your children. Senator Amidala adorns herself with jewels and extravagant headpieces while your children go hungry. You might even say Senator Amidala hates your children. Fight against the abuses of your rights in the Senate. I'm Newt Gunray and I approve this message. So, we've received the first submissions for custom cargo, and am I excited because they are awesome, so let's check some out. I made a lot of special modifications myself. The first custom we have is a really cool Clone Wars ARF Trooper by Clone Head. This is CT13409 or Sergeant Shady of the 137th Airborne Covert Ops Battalion. Here we get a glimpse of him in the field in a really cool image by Hangar Bay 94. Shady is one tough looking clone. The base figure was a Commander Thire. He features several resin parts including a removable cast resin ARF Trooper helmet with a positionable ARC Trooper rangefinder. His pauldron, snow trooper backpack, sand trooper rifle, holsters, and pistols are also resin cast by Clonehead. The comma is made from paper mache constructed from Kleenex and a white glue water mix, and its outer trim is made from styrene strips. Clonehead says he finished him up with Tester's Model Master and Flow Quill acrylic paints, then added some Warhammer Space Marine decals supplied by Wrath 9. No doubt he will be leaving piles of clankers wherever he goes. To see more customs by Clonehead, as well as links to his custom parts and figures for sale on eBay and the Imperial Shipyards, check out his YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash the Clonehead. Next up, we have a truly unique custom created by the imagination of 70-year-old Elias and brought to life by the excellent artistry of his father, Darth Daddy. It's one of my favorites because it looks like my dog, Dingo. Yep, yep. This is Vixie, a character who in her first incarnation was the combination of a gray wolf toy found at Target and an Obi-Wan Kenobi body. Elias felt that the character didn't look female enough and didn't reflect the character as he originally imagined it. So after gaining experience and doing some other customs, Darth D revisited the character. Elias said he originally visualized her to have boobs and a braid. So Vixie got an epoxy sculpt boob job and a new long braid. She looks like she would fit right in at the head of a clone wolf pack to me. It's cool to see a father and son enjoying the hobby and being creative together. I highly suggest checking out the blog. It's written by Elias, a talented little guy who combines great storytelling along with humor and the custom figures him and his father create. To check out their customs and blog, go to customsforthekid.blogspot.com. I made a lot of special modifications myself. 
If you want your customs featured on an installment of Custom Cargo, send me a few pictures along with a description of the modifications to WookieLover1138 at gmail.com. Wow, with all these great figures, my circuits are going to overload. I think I'm going to have to go to Darlin Boda for a vacation. But while I'm away, you can always find me hanging around the shipyards along with Clone Head Dark Daddy and all the coolest collectors. Until then, I'll see you next time, and may the Force be with you. He can go about his business. Move along. This is Imperial Patrol 2954, and we're looking at what could only be the dust store blowing up again. So we're wondering, should we just go ahead and take the rest of the day off, or what? Over.